and also you are excited to know the things about your school and classroom you want to know where your classroom is what is there in your classroom and uh, what is there in your school about teachers about other students these are the uh, these are all the things that uh, when you back to the school or you come to the school first time you want to know about these things so here are some uh, suggestions here are some things that you will learn in this lesson how to introduce yourself how to ask uh, about other how to describe your classroom or how to uh, describe your school and yourself so let's see how we can do that thing are you ready yes teacher yes teacher okay. well done excellent the first thing how to introduce yourself or how to talk about yourself or speak about yourself we have already done this one the very first day we did this thing we wrote some sentences so that are helpful to you to describe yourself when you are new to a class or a school uh, you need this sentence you need this speak about yourself so that sentences you need to recall them remind them and uh, they will be helpful to you the next is here the main question here before starting the what do we do at school this is something to just uh, brainstorming or brainstorming to prepare you mentally what you are going to do in this lesson to make you mentally prepare for that what do we do at school this is a general question of this lesson what do we do at school and i hope you all have one or more thing uh, to talk about that to answer our this question so let's see what is in your mind don't hesitate to say anything uh, to answer anything if you are wrong it doesn't matter okay you are in the learning process and uh, hopefully uh, gradually you will be okay so don't hesitate don't uh, be passive always be attentive and always be active and always participate uh, in uh, discussion or in the class whatever i ask you you must say something you must try to say and you must try your uh, best to answer the question uh, regardless thinking about that it is wrong or right okay so what do we do at school we study we study very nice for sadin that is a very perfect answer that is very good answer we study there are there are many answers of this question you have multiple answers of this question you can answer this question in different and uh, multiple ways so let's see what is uh, <coughs> your views the very first uh, answer of faris sadin is also uh, one of them that is correct that we study there but but the problem uh, but the we do not only study there we do lot of things there so let's see what do we do at school yes abdur rahman mohammed what's your view we learn we write we learn and we write at the school okay that's nice good who is there abdul basit wali Yes, yes. What do we do at school? Yes, Try to say something. Yes, sir. What do we do at school? Ayad Abdul Latif. No, sir. What do we do at school? Activities. We do different activities like what? What activities we do? 
coat and coat, nice mm -hmm. and take our friends uh -huh. pet our friend yes okay well done excellent ayad very nice Yusuf? Yes. What do we do yes. in school? We see teacher. We see teachers, okay, nice. And we listen to them. Okay, Yusuf, carry on. Very nice. Well done. What else we do there? Yusuf? Yes. Okay, what else we do there? We see teachers and... I'm playing with... My friend. Okay. Okay, that's good. Well done. Yes, Father Sudin. Yes, Father. What do we do at school? If with my friend mm -hmm. and communicate with my friend communicate with your friends okay nice nice okay what else you do there Play with my friend. Play with your friends. Okay, that's nice. Well done. Well done, Faris. Ibrahim Mohyuddin. Huh? Yes, Ibrahim. What do we do at school? Yeah. What do we do at school? Yes. Yes. Yes, Ibrahim, try to answer. What do we do at school? Make friends. Make friends. We make friends. Nice. Well done. And? A study. Study, that's good. Hmm. And? Uh, and play? Read. Read, okay, good. And what else we do there? Do we play? Reading. reading. Okay. We study, read, and play. make friends and play. Okay. Super. Well done, Ibrahim. Excellent. Anna Simon. Yes, sir. Anna Simon, what do we do at school? What do we do? Again? Learn subject. Learn subject. Okay, good. And? Play with my friends. Play with your friends. Okay, excellent. Well done, Anas. We'll learn subjects and play with uh, friends. Okay, Mikhail Khan. 
Yes. What do we do at school? We do at school play. Okay. We do play there and and make friends. Make friends. Okay, nice. Razi. Yes. What do we do at school? Work. We work at school. What work we do at school? Huh? What work we do at school? Work. Yes, Gazi. Be active. Work. Work. What type of work, work. we do there? We hmm. study. We learn maths. We learn English. We learn science. We learn computer. Study. Yes, we learn study. English. We study. Well done. Good. And we play with our friends. These are all the things that we do at school. Yes or no? Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, nice. Good job. You can see all of these things that I said that we do at school. We make friends. We play with our friends. Okay. We participate in sports. We study English. We study learn math, sciences, computer. Okay, yes, um. yes, sir. Yes, yes, and what do we do at school? I use computer. Very nice. We use computer. Okay. And I do math. We do math. Okay. We play music or not? Yes. Yes, we play some school. We do play. I learn sport. Okay, learn sport. That's nice. Good. Very nice. Uh, yes, huh? Okay, that is a general question. What do we do at school? You all spoke very well. Okay, these are the some things that uh, we do at school. We learn maths, we study English, we use computer, we play with our friends. Okay, these are the things that you can say to answer this question. Now look at the next one. I read and listen. Find each thing in the picture. Read and listen. Read in your heart and listen to this. Hello, school. And... Uh, See what is there. Track three. Hello, school. Tables and chairs, a list of rules, books and crayons. Hello, school. Yes, hello, school. Tables and chairs, a list of rules books and crayons, hello school. These are some things that are there in your classroom. When you are going to describe your classroom, you need to say these things. There are some other things too that you can include in your list. So Hamza Muhammad. Yes, sir. Read this one. Hello school. Hello. Hello school. Hmm. Tables. Tables and chairs. Chairs. Uh -huh. And this uh, speak loudly. List. A list of of rules 
Lists. Mm -hmm. Books. And. Books and. Crayons. 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 Hello. Hello. School. School. Excellent. Well done. Good job. Okay. Nice try, Hamza. Hello, school, tables and chairs, a list of rules. Rules are the list of instructions or guidelines that someone needs to follow. You know, when you go to school, there are some rules that you must follow where, uh, when you are in the school or you are inside the class. Inside uh, In the school, there are some other rules and inside the class, there are some other rules. So you need to follow all of the rules when you are in the school. Not only in the school, wherever you are, you have some rules so that you have to follow. Whether you are at home or outside in public place or in the school, wherever you are, you have some rules that you need to follow. So you know very well what are the classroom rules. A list of rules here means the rules that we apply inside the classroom. Whether you are uh, in online class or uh, you are in physical ground class, you have some rules to follow. So let's see what are they, uh, what are they and uh, how many you have in your mind and how the main thing is how many you follow when you are inside the class. So look at here in the class, many classes have the chart or the, they, they have a, a written classroom rules inside the classroom on you can say walls uh, there are the charts on the walls so that you can read them and you can follow them so there some are written here classroom rules look and listen put your hand up be a good friend there are many other let's see uh, abdullah fahad Abdullah Fahad. Abdullah, are you there? Okay, Abdullah Mustafa. Be quiet in the class, sir. Be quiet in the class. Very nice. Well done. This is very important rule. Be quiet, especially when the teacher is there and the teacher is uh, teaching you or explaining you. That time you must need to be quiet. Be quiet. Very nice. Taha Mustafa. Yes, sir. Say some classroom rules. There are some classroom rules, like be quiet. I just asked you. Taha. Taha, first listen to me. Understand the question. Don't read. Look at these rules, classroom rules. Look here. Look at your screen. These are some classroom rules. Yeah, and the classroom rules. Yes, aha. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Say a classroom rule. A thing that you need to follow inside the classroom. Door and a be a good friend put your hand up put your hand up means raise your hand if you need to ask something if you need to answer uh, you must raise your hand don't speak me 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 uh, you know that is very uh, we observe this thing even in online classes if i uh, unmute your mics you stopped uh, 
speaking together, me, me, I, I, R. Okay, that is very bad thing. That is not good thing. So you need to raise your hand if you want to ask something, if you want to answer, and uh, raise your hand, wait for your turn. When the when teacher asks you or call your name, that time you should speak. If someone is speaking, uh, you must listen to him first, and at your turn, you should speak. So that is very uh, important uh, rule and instruction. Put your hand up, or simply you can say, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Look and listen. That is also very important. Look and listen. Just now I told you when someone is speaking, you must listen to him first. So if teacher is speaking, you must listen to the teachers. You should be attentive. Look means you should be attentive and uh, be quiet. Be a good friend. This is a moral rule. That's, uh, this is sometimes you see that some students are very, you can say passive or very, they don't like friends. They are just busy in themselves and uh, they don't share their things and they don't share their uh, information or knowledge. If someone asks them anything, they don't reply. Or if someone asks them a thing, they don't share. So that is not good. Be a good friend. Always be active and participate in uh, any activity that is inside your class. Yes, Basim. Yes, sir. Can you say some classroom rules? Yes, Basim. Be quiet. Be quiet. Okay. Next. Be good to friends. Uh huh. Okay. Well done, Basim. Very nice. Okay, I let you know about five classroom rules. Okay, so that on your fingertips, uh, you can learn them. You have five fingers uh, in your hand, so I uh, I'm going to tell you five rules. I as I told you, there are many rules, and you need to follow all of them. But five general rules that I'm going to tell you. The first one, listen. The first one is, listen means listen to your teachers or listen to your friends. Okay. Second is speak in English. If you are in English class, English school, you need to speak English. Speak in English because we are studying English, so we can include this rule. Speak in English. Then hands up. Hands up. That you can say raise your hand if you want to answer or want to ask or you have any problem you want to go to washroom you want to drink water okay or any other thing you just uh, need to raise your hand that we say hands up hands up uh, hands up doesn't mean that you <laughs> keep your hands up all the time no it's not like that hand up mean raise your hand when you need and then number four is try your best try your best Surely you raise your hand to say something or to answer. So when you are answering, try your best. As uh, I told you before starting, that don't hesitate and don't uh, confuse that uh, maybe I am wrong or right. It, it's not your matter. Say something, try your best. If you are in learning process, you don't need to think about that, that you are wrong or right. You just say something. When you will say, then you will know that you are wrong or right. So don't confuse about that. Try your best. Always try your best to do any activity, to say answer or to write answer or to participate in any activity. Try your best. And the last one, number five here is respect your uh, respect each other. Whether it's your teacher or your friend, respect each other. Don't say any bad words. Don't do any bad thing uh, to your friends or to anyone. 
be a good friend and respect each other that are the five general classroom rules again listen speak in english hands up try your best and respect each other is it clear do you understand what are the five general rules hmm yes sir yes sir yes sir okay let me ask someone to repeat this yes, yes. sir bandar okay well done good boys yes bandar yes can you can you repeat these five rules that i told you look the three are written here they are the same listen put your hand up be a good friend or respect each other they are same okay yes bandar yes say the five rules that i told you hello a chair 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 friend chair hmm. boy Boy. What are you doing? Bandar. Bandar, I did ask you to say classroom rules. You know what are the classroom rules? Bandar. Yes. You know what are the classroom rules? Teacher. table uh, chair okay listen i think you are confused about that i am not asking what is there in classroom teachers and chairs and tables i am asking you what are the rules what are the guidelines what are the instructions what are the things that you need to follow inside the classroom that is what i am asking bandh be attentive listen what your friends are saying yes anas ayman And as what are the classroom rules? A clock, look and listen. Look and listen. Okay, nice. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Hmm. Well done. be a good friend be a good friend okay your sound is very low very nice well done be a good friend speak in english try your best respect each other these all are the rules inside your classroom Muhammad Zain Muhammad Zain Yes ma'am Yes Zain try to yes, say Yes yes um, mister try to say some classroom rules Yes Muhammad Zain man look and listen look and listen mm -hmm. if you need any eggs if you eat any eggs raise your hand raise your hand very nice good hmm my good friends be a good friend well done excellent mohammed sir good job
Okay, so you can add here some more as I told you. And be a good friend. Here you can write speak in English. And try your best. Respect each other. These are some other that you can include in this list or in these rules. Okay, now move to the next number two. What is in the classroom? Okay, after you know that you have to follow some rules. What is there in the classroom? Every classroom has different uh, atmosphere, different things where it's up to you how much you can organize your class, or arrange your class, put things in your class. So sometimes there are very beautiful classrooms, sometimes there are very uh, dirty and messy classrooms. It's up to you, you students, how you arrange your class with the help of your teachers. Find some more things. What's in the classroom? Look at this here uh, in the picture. You can see a classroom there. There is a teacher and a student is entering in the class. Then you can see there is a cupboard, the books are there. There is teacher's table and chair is there. The pen holders is there. <coughs> and a uh, whiteboard is there. Also, you can see here ABC chart, this one here, that tells you F or Apple. Okay, then uh, there is Tables and chairs are there. Rulers are there. Pens, are, pencils are there. Books are there. The lunch box is there. Okay, these are the things that are there in classroom. Uh, look at this. A blue pencil. Find some more. Can you find a blue pencil? A blue pencil is here. So you can circle this one here. Blue pencil. This one is here, blue pencil. You can circle it. A blue pencil, then a green ruler. With, uh, beside the pencil, there is a green ruler. There are three rulers. Ahmed Kamal. Yes, sir. How many rulers can you see on the table? Three rulers. Three rulers. What color they are? Yellow, blue, green. Yellow, blue, green. Where is the yellow? Uh, sorry, green. Ruler in the pencil. Green is near pencil. Okay, nice. This one is green ruler. You can circle it too. Blue pencil and green ruler. Blue pencil. And... Then a red lunch box is there. Find it and yes, Ahmed Mazan. Can you see a red lunch box? Yes, Ahmed. Yes. Okay. What picture is there on that lunch box? Ahmed, what picture is there on the lunch box? Can you see any picture there on the lunch box? Duck. A oh, duck, very nice. So that means you find lunch box, it is there, here. A red lunch box having a white duck on it. Yes? Okay, good job. Abdul Rahman Yusuf. 
say yes. Yes. Abdurrahman, look at the picture. Say what things you can see there in this classroom. Good. Yes. Say what things you can see there in this classroom. What thing you can see here? Say, what is this? Say quickly, the time is up. Abdurrahman. Rural. Rulers. Okay, good job. And 